Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Omar. Welcome to Omar Draws and welcome to the second part of our environment concept art tutorial series. Now, if you haven't watched the first part yet, uh, there should be a link in the description of this video or you can click on the top right corner of this video and watch that first before you move on to the second video. Um, but yeah, but after the first, after the sketching part, I jump directly to value. Um, when I'm, what I mean by value is that I'll pretty much be rendering everything out in black and white before jumping to color and it's very important you do it that way especially if you're a beginner because then you're not really thinking too much about the different colors and everything and it's very easy to figure out your forms and your lighting and your shapes and things like that i mean it's lighting is everything you know when it comes to rendering stuff you just have to know where your light source is you know how is it gonna affect different um types of materials and textures once you have that figured out, you have everything figured out pretty much. And that's really the toughest part, you know, you don't really get at, get good at this kind of thing, you know, in one, in one go, you know, you have to like keep practicing, keep studying and yeah. Uh, but the good thing was that since this was more of a stylized project, I kind of had the creative liberty to like render everything out quite similar to each other. But then I also still had to put some texture on top of you know some of these different materials just to show that okay this is like different you know um, but yeah but I usually start off with by just masking out everything in like a grayish tone so that I can make a selection of it before I start drawing painting on top of it just so that I don't have to worry about the color going out of the lines and um, usually I start off with like a soft round brush just blocking those big value changes and then I'll pick up one of my charcoal brushes and I'm gonna start color picking and then I can start rendering everything out and so you know during this entire process I did have my references pulled up and I was very closely analyzing them and seeing and you know grabbing stuff from here and there uh, and just rendering it out you know it's one of those things where you can just you know play some nice little music in the background and just you know take your time have fun with it you know you have to have fun doing this kind of thing because I know sometimes it can get really really stressful and if you ever feel like you're reaching that point where you're just rendering everything out, it's just not looking good and you're just getting stressed out, just take a break, you know, um, save your files, turn off the computer, go out for a walk, I don't know, go watch a movie or something, but take a break, you know, I mean, there's always this thing going on that, oh, you have to, you know, you have to be keep drawing like six, seven hours a day to be good at drawing. Yes, it's true. But then you also want to make sure you're taking care of your health, right? It's more like a marathon. It's not a sprint you know and uh so yeah but uh, as you all can see i'm just you know one by one i'm just hitting all my assets up here i started off with the cave and then i went went to that big tree trunk that has no leaves then i went to the broken tree up there and then the next thing that i'm doing is that getting those big rocks and then the roots so you know you want you want to like go slowly and steadily you know hit focus on one thing at a time now there's some people who like to bounce back and forth you know they'll work on like one part of the drawing then they'll move on to the other part then they'll come back again to the previous part then they'll move on to the third part and that's totally fine too i mean i've seen a lot of cool artists who do that my mentor eric wilkerson he does that as well and it's really cool the way they can do it but unfortunately for me i'm not that advanced yet so i'd rather just focus on one thing at a time but the one thing that you can also do is that you know you can like render every do like two or three different render passes right uh just do one render pass you know hitting one thing at a time then come back to it and then do another render pass so in this case in my case for me it's gonna it's more like you know a color pass on top of this and then after color it would be a final polish pass uh but yeah i'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of the video and i will see you guys towards the end
right guys so i feel like this is probably a good stopping point for our value painting and um honestly the main focus was just to figure out uh the light source and how it would affect the piece overall so i wanted to show that the main light source would just be coming from this fire pit up here and everything that's why everything gradually starts getting darker as we move away from the fire um, so yeah, I feel like this is a good stopping point. I mean, I could still go in here and render the crap out of this, but I felt like I can also do that part in the final polish stages of this painting. So I think next what we can do is move on to color. Um, when it comes to adding color, it's gonna I'm, I'm mostly going to be using a bunch of gradient maps and overlay layers. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the third part of the series.